throttle blip in. Yeah, it seems peppier. Yeah, it seems pretty good. I think he's got something with these. Yeah, it's got some pep. A little more than it normally has. I think, man, wow, very impressive. So I'll try to put links for those below. I don't really have them here, but I'll try to stick them down there. Uh, you can print them out for free, I think, on his uh, site or something, or, uh, and then you can buy them too, I think. So uh, I'll see if I can get those for everybody. Yeah, it gets some good speed. It's a bit quicker. We come from the other side. I might be finding that I've got more power than I'm used to, you know? And maybe that's what's throwing me off with it. I might need to run my CG back a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it definitely has more power than it used to. And it accelerates out a bit better, I think. Very nice, very nice. Did it well, but it definitely seems to have more. I think I need my CG a little bit farther back. Yeah, not bad, I like it. You can see those burners pretty good today, huh, Steve? Yep, it's good. Yeah, it definitely peps it up a bit. Definitely does pep it up a bit, I, I gotta admit. Very cool. Presentation pass, Steve, across the front. Really? Flying beautiful, yeah. All right, I think I'm gonna land it from the other direction. Let me come by one more time hot here, Steve. Hey guys, Rich here. Welcome back to the RC Informer YouTube channel. Got Steve on the camera once again. And today I've got my FMS 80 millimeter Rafale. Um, and I uh, did a couple changes to it. Uh, I broke the nose gear off last time I, I flew it. I, Osceola, I wish I had a video clip to show you, but it hit pretty hard and it, it broke the mount, but not the gear. So I repaired that, replaced that. And also today's flight is gonna be, I still got my uh, KMRC models afterburner. Steve, can you get in on that okay? Yep. You can see that lights up, but I added the RC Geek afterburner uh, nozzles, which, you know, reduce the aperture, supposedly give you a little more thrust. And, um, you know, we're going to see how that does. The planes always seem to have, you know, plenty of power, but uh, sometimes pulling out a high alpha, going around turns, it just seems like it needs a little oomph, maybe a little more speed. And I've been hearing that these are pretty good. So a friend of mine printed these for me, sent them to me. I took some foam tack, foam tacked them all into place and uh and just kind of glued them in there with foam tack and we're gonna see how all those uh those things do so um uh the landing gear is good i'll just do a quick check on that make sure we're still we're doing well because i just repaired it this is my original airplane that i did my first unboxing of and i'll put that video in the upper right hand corner of the screen so you guys can check it out i got many videos of this and i'll load those up in the upper right hand corner of the screen so you can link to all those those videos so uh this airplane has been through the grinder I've hit the ground with it many times or slid it into a high alpha which could happen today uh, but uh, but it's held up real well main gear is real tough I have never changed that but I tore the whole landing gear electric retract unit off last time I flew it so uh, and I just replaced the unit and we'll see how it does so you ready to go Steve let's hit it all right let's see what we got here we'll do a quick thrust check Let's check out the burners from KMRC. We got a little dusk here and a little thunder in the background. So we should be able to see that burner real well. I like the burner because it it um, it comes on even just sitting here at idle. And it has a little hum and a little glow to it. So it's pretty neat. We'll go high elevator, low aileron. Flight controls are all good. All right, Steve, we're ready to rock. Here we go. Let's see, wind is coming from our right. So let's go, go out that way. Now my airplane has a no, uh, has gear mods to it where I reduce the length of the main gear and uh, and increase the length of the nose gear. So it's got a little more of a deck angle, so it rotates a little better than the the stock Rafale. Very easy fixes, so uh, easy changes to make. So 
taxi it slow so it doesn't tip over. You ready, Steve? Yep. Right, let's see what these nozzles do for this thing. All right, it seems to have some good speed going down the runway. I'm back on the stick. It goes up. I'm going to my low elevator right here. I'm running a Spectrum 5050C pack in this. It's flying nice and smooth. I'm about half throttle here, folks. Not very high, so. All right, let's go fast. Ready, Steve? We'll see what it does at high speed. Low elevator rate in there. Yeah, that moves along. Let's go vertical. I think it's got a little more punch to it. I think. Uh, I think the RC Geek's got something, uh, you know, to this. These have a little more punch to them. That's what I was told that I should notice a difference. Let's try it out in high alpha here. We'll go to high elevator rate. See if we got it slowed down. I'm off with the power. Let it sink. Heading to the bushes, let me recover from that. I probably should have put a little rudder in there. And it's pulling out. Yeah, we got a little bit of a little crosswind. Let's try that again. I usually use the turns with this airplane to slow it down. Get it into the high alpha there setup. You're just trading, uh, trading uh, pitch and airspeed, so. Just got to flip that throttle a little bit. Oh, looks like it's going in full throttle. It's getting out of there. No lower in the nose so it doesn't stall. But yeah, this does well. It definitely does a little better with those nozzles. It seems to power out of a turn a little better. Low elevator rate for the high speed stuff. Very nice. We'll go back to some high alpha here in a second, but let me uh, do a couple passes. Hey, can you guys grab my phone and just push a button? Somebody's calling me. Just push one of the side buttons, it'll go out. My alarm's going off on my phone. All right, let me give you a presentation pass, Steve, coming by. Yeah, these definitely put out a little more thrust. I'm gonna go kind of low power, top side shot. Really like how this flies. All right, let's go to some alpha again. You really can bleed off your speed in a turn with this thing. Throttle blipping. All right, I'm gonna power back. See, I've done it before. <laughs> That's the beauty about the mighty Rafal when you're on grass, because it, it will do that sometimes, or you can screw up and do that. Got a little bit of grass there. So one of the best planes for high alpha, because you really don't damage really anything when you're doing that. So you ready to go? Let's get it. Uh, probably not a lot of battery power left, so we'll just go around one time and bring it in, unless I'm out of battery power. So here we go. There we go. Bringing it on in. Doors are coming up. All right, let's do a good landing. I think my battery's dead. I don't want to do any more alpha with it for right now, but yeah. I may throw another battery in it here. Let's see. There we go. This thing will take a licking and keep on ticking. Tell you what, you want to do another battery with it? Yeah. Let me throw another one in, and uh, and we'll go. Let's see what uh, let's see what we got left in this. What do you think? Ten percent. Ten percent. You might be right. Let's see what we got. Let's plug this baby in. See what we got. 
That was great high alpha until I slid it into the ground, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. That was like the best I think I've done. 11% on the money, Steve. All right, let me grab another battery and we'll go. Okay, okay guys, we are taking the uh, existing battery out of there, the 5050C Smart. And we're going with one of my batteries of choice here, 4400. 70 C roaring top. So it's a bit lighter. This one comes in at 702. This one, this one's 679. So almost the same, really almost the same weight pretty much. So I'm going to put this in right about where that was. CG might be a little farther aft. You saw on that flying, it was pitching a little bit. That's high speed when you got the CG back so you can do the alpha good. But uh, when your CG's forward, you don't do the alpha. The alpha doesn't do it so well. It doesn't settle in well to that high angle of attack. So we're going to try this out. Slightly lighter battery. So you probably see the high speed porpoise a little more. So, And that's why I go to a, a low rate here. So let's plug this in. Let's let the flight controls initialize. Ailerons. Elevators. Canards. There we go. Very good. Light up the burner. And let's put this thing on there. Let's put this in the middle. Got another battery charging over there. Let's check our CG, Steve, and see where it's at. Because we were doing good alpha with this. All right, and it's, uh, yeah, it's a little hair farther back, a couple millimeters, because it's a slightly lighter battery. It's only by, you know, about 20 grams or so. So, all right, here we go, ready? Let's go see what we got with this. Wind is still from our right, I think. Yep. Actually, it's more like from our backs here. We turn it around. Slow taxi. There we go. This thing tips over if you turn it too tight. All right, take it off. That sounded like my fan might have ingested something. Did you hear that little whoop? Yep, a little bit of dirt. Bring it by fast here. Low elevator rate. High elevator rate. it a little better uh, I think I think the nozzles do give it a bit more not a tremendous amount but noticeable you know what I mean mm -hmm. like it does make a difference but it's not like you know it's not earth shattering but it's a lot better it's worth it's worth printing them out I think and putting them in there so let's see if I can All right, we'll get out of that. Beautiful, huh? Sweet. Very nice. Back to high rate or low rate on the elevator. Bring it on back again. I'll peel out. Those burners look good. This dusk, this dark sky is killing it. This thing, let's do some steep turns out front. This thing just skids around turns. In fact, you can tighten it up so much that the bottom will drop out on you. In fact, I'm going to go to my low elevator rate because I'm... It's crazy how that thing skids around turns. Oop, almost hit the ground there. <laughs> All right, Steve, I'm going to come whizzing by you. Go vertical in the middle. You ready? Yep. All right, here we go. And we'll do some spirals going upward. Going up. There we go. Let's see if we get a touch and go out of it. Gears coming down.
Beautiful flying plane. Uh, this is only a 4400 pack, so. All right, let's bring her on in here. I think the nozzles help. Like I said, not earth shattering, but they make a difference. I think they're probably worth, you know, most guys printing. And I will take that. All right, what do you think we got left for battery? 4,400 now. Probably about 15%. 15%. I can feel it's a little weak. I love the lighting package on that thing. Isn't it cool? Yeah, it is. Nice. It's good in here. I know it's French, but it's like a, an, a, an Italian sport car to me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense, but probably doesn't. But all right, let's see what we got. What'd you say again? 15%. 15? Oh, it's telling me one. Oh. <laughs> Well, it's a 4400 pack, you know, it's, but it's 70 C, so it gives it some good kick and it's lightweight. It's a good kind of balanced pack as opposed to, you know, using a, uh, a 5000 all the time. But, but I got to say, uh, the nozzles are kind of a hit. They, they definitely, uh, you know, give you a little more boost, you know, a little more thrust out of your, you know, existing uh, pack. You know, you see those lighting up? Or, or did I, unpl I unplugged? Yeah, you unplugged it. I unplugged it. All right, so uh, let me plug that back in. Let me see real quick. Yeah, I did unplug it, didn't I? All right, let's see. Are they still lit? I gotta tell you, these yep. these things have been very reliable for me. These uh, these uh, KMRC burners. They're just real simple to snap in. So uh, with two uh, two zip ties. So that's it, guys. The FMS Rafal with uh, you know the the, the RC Geeks uh, uh, nozzles in there, which help out with the power. Um, we're running Roaring Top packs and Spectrum packs. Um, and, um, you know, we're using the KMRC burner in this thing. So nice combo, flies great. Uh, check it out. I'll try to put links below for the, the nozzle kit that you can, uh, you can actually either buy them or you can actually have them uh, laser cut or what is it, uh, 3D printed yourself. I don't have a 3D printer. I'll get one eventually. So, but Steve, you got any comments? Another sweet flying airplane. Yeah, it's nice. So, uh, all right, guys, thanks for watching RC Informer Steve. Thanks for filming, guys. Please like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell if you guys are interested in getting any of these things through our links below. It supports the channel at no cost to you guys. So, click on them, buy something from us, uh, you know, and that helps us out. So, our channel's all free. Me and Steve are always out here making great videos for everybody as best we can and uh, just kind of show you how things, uh, how things work out. So, once again, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time.